Hello, my name is Sandra Johnson. I'm Lamaze certified as well as a certified doula. Today I'm going to show you how to use a cloth pelvic model. One of the things that I want to start off with is how just this one set of product, you can utilize it so many different other ways. And that's kind of one of the reasons why I like this set is that you can actually teach a full childbirth class um, by using this. So I'll start off with your cloth pelvic model here. One of the components that I like that I had talked about is that it's cloth. So you have to go teach class or you're running over to a couple's house to quickly educate them before their child is born. You can kind of bend it up and stick it in, in a bag and it's easy to carry around and travel with. Here's your perineal and there's straps that come with this so it's quite easy to just hook it on one hip bone, tuck that tailbone underneath, and then hook it on to the other hip bone here. There's one strap in the middle. Take the baby and get the baby set up. Attach the umbilical cord to the belly button. Okay. You can flip the baby's legs up and you can snap the baby's hands, whatever is easiest for you and you can tuck this baby into the bag of water. One of the great things about this is that when you tuck it into the bag of water, you can then lead straight into the different positionings that the baby does. I like to somewhat close this bag of water and actually slightly knot it because we don't want that bag of water opening. Then you close the uterus bag and we're not going to tighten that one because we know that that's not going to be in a knot. So we've got our bag with our baby inside. <coughs> we've got our pelvis right here. And so at this point we can start educating our parents on the different positions that the baby's going to take and the different ways that the baby can mold down into this pelvis area. You have a baby floating up here in mom's tummy. You can educate them at about 38 weeks. The baby will do what's called lightening or engagement into the pelvis area. By showing them how the baby kind of engages into the pelvis, that will line you up real easily to talk about the different stations that the baby's at. Now, of course, as the baby's entering, you can talk about the anterior position and the posterior position, how the baby rotates into that pelvis area. But you can then take the pelvis and point it towards the class and talk about how that baby's head is going to put pressure down on top of that cervix. You can open up the vagina, the labia area right here, so that they can see the cervix. Right there you've got a great education source to talk about the different um, centimeters that that cervix has to open. You can talk about the thinning of it. You can see how it's starting to become really thin of how, how thick it starts at the very beginning. You can talk about the baby's head and how it maneuvers through there. Not only talking about the cervix of how it opens up and thins out, but you can also talk about the areas here on the perineum of how to put counter pressure and alleviate the possibilities of having that area tear during the pushing stage of labor. With a cloth pelvis model, one of the great things that you can educate or show your class and even have them do with their hands is how by putting different counter pressures on different areas, how that will help change the position or the opening of the pelvis area. For instance, we talk about a lot of counter pressure on mom's hips. You can say, here look, I'm putting counter pressure on mom's hips. Look at how much wider that makes that pelvis open. Okay, Putting pressure on mom's lower back. See how that opens up mom's pelvis? You can hold the cloth pelvis and here you go with the baby's head coming up again visualization of the tailbone. A lot of times parents don't understand that the baby has to dip down to get over that tailbone. You can talk about how when you're laying on your back trying to deliver this baby, how much harder it might be for that baby to get out. Whereas if you're up right, how much that baby just slides back down. Did you see that? Do you see how the baby, when I hold it like this sitting there, but when I go up, how he just engages down in the pelvis? What a great way to show them how gravity can help to pull that baby out. And again, you can talk about the different pushing and with that perennial piece off, they can actually visualize a little bit more 
of how that baby's coming through. You can birth this baby the rest of the way. Baby's head's out. Suction's usually done at this time. Baby will rotate the body, okay? And then you can birth one shoulder out and then the other, and here comes the baby. So what's great is now you've got the baby out and you can talk about cutting the cord. And once the cord's cut, now you have your baby all by itself. Now by having your baby all by itself, it leads into different ways that you can educate parents with just this baby, which comes with this product. You can talk about how to take care of cord care. You can talk about how to diaper this baby. You can talk about the two different soft spots on the baby's head. This bestseller from Childbirth Graphics is an essential for any educator who works with expectant families. The cloth pelvic model set includes the cloth pelvis, the fetal model, the perennial cloth model, and the placenta and cord model. You can purchase the set together and save money or each piece can also be purchased individually.